Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're flying the rough gin with the power pod and doing some landing practice. <laughs> It's awesome. All right, full crow, flare. Nice. Ah, that was awesome. Okay, so if you've seen my other videos, uh, you know I'm a terrible pilot, but I can learn something. Um, this is the rough gen model with the power pot on the front. It's got a 1400 kilovolt motor and I'm gonna be using a thousand milliamp hour battery. Gets anywhere from, uh, you know, seven minute to 15 minute flights on a, this is all PLA. So it, it flies quickly and uh, in landing without any flaps, it, it usually covers the distance of the field uh, and I'm also at 6,000 feet here in Golden, Colorado. Uh, having a four servo wing is very advantageous, but you have to know how to use it in order to take advantage of it. Um, I'm also flying in a park that's a little on the small side, so I, I don't have a lot of room for setting up to land. You know, I don't want to fly over buildings or trees or people. Uh, so having the four servo wing makes it so I can tune my landing pretty well. The problem is, I don't really know how to do it yet. Oh. Come on. Come on. So after all of these, I realize I need some practice flying a four servo wing on flat ground. I found this flight simulator called PicaSim. It's available for download for the PC for free. They do ask for a donation. And you can connect your FR Sky transmitter through the USB port and control it just like you would your normal plane. And it has gliders and powered planes and drones and lots of different places you can fly. Once you got it all set up and your controller connected to it, you can go into the PicaSim and you want to go into free fly. And then you want to go to choose, choose your plane. And there's lots of planes to choose from, from powered planes and other gliders. But I choose the banana, the 1.4 meter span that has crow brakes with the throttle stick. It's very much like the rough gin. And then you can pick where you want to fly. You can fly in the hills, you can fly in flatland. There's even a DS spot. Once on the slope, you can try out your controls to make sure everything's right. And then you can hit the play button and you can launch. And then you can fly around and get the feel for what the plane feels like flying in a flight simulator. So we can switch over to the flat ground and a high start and practice our flat field landings. And the high start will get you up high enough that you can fly around and get set up for landing. Now I was able to demonstrate exactly what I was doing in the field where I was throwing full crow and then trying to use the elevator to flare at the end. Doesn't work. What I really needed to be doing was using crow to slow it down, but then backing crow off to about halfway and allowing it to fly to the ground. It still had lots of flaps and I was able to use the elevator to flare. Here it is again, half crow, and able to flare when I get to the ground. And I could keep practicing and practicing and trying it over and over again until I got really comfortable 
with what I was trying to do and how the plane would act in a lot of different situations. Even though it's just a simulator, it's pretty close to what is really happening with the model. And I could get the feel of when I could put Crow on and when I needed to back off so I could get it to land where I wanted it to. So let's go try it in real life. Whoa! <laughs> I lost it in the sun for a second. Thermal. <clears throat> landing. Thermal. Landing. Thermal. Yeah. Do this. awesome <clears throat> oh that was a good one <laughs> that was pretty good <laughs> 